Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you, brethren. I speak uh, at this moment by revelation as I was just inspired about uh, the two main ushers of the new Nigeria. Every lover of Nigeria and every Nigerian at this junction in the history of a nation is expecting a new Nigeria. Some may not really know deep about it, but one thing they know is that a Nigeria that is better than what it is today. A Nigeria that economy will be better. A Nigeria that kidnapping for ransom will stop. A Nigeria that Fulani headsmen attack and Boko Haram attack. You know, the Fulani headsmen attack is actually a Fulani jihadist group. The jihadist group. And the, the Boko Haram is uh, the Kanuri jihadist group. You know, you should understand Nigeria very well. Islam came through the Sokoto, the Gurubi kingdom, through the Fulani. And Islam also came through the uh, Kenem uh, Bruno Empire, through the slave trade. And Islam also came through the south, through the Malian uh, uh, traders, three entry points of Islam in Nigeria. The Fulani have been on it, and then uh, the Kanuri also, who are also custodian of Islam in Nigeria, also have been on it. So the, there is a sharp difference, though they are all called the Fulani Caliphate, the Boko Haram, and the Fulani Hedgemen. They are fighting the same cause. They are fighting to, you know, to to make Nigeria a Caliphate. To make Nigeria a Caliphate, their agenda uh, is to make the country Nigeria to become. The the, the 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 Quran and the Hadith, which is as it's been explained when you go to the global, uh, I mean the comparative region research TV, there is a research work there on, uh, you know, understanding a, a, a revelation from the National Islamic Pledge. You get there, you get details. So, in one way or the other, everybody in Nigeria today is yearning for it in Nigeria where where there will be equity, where there will be fairness, where there will be justice, where graduates will get job, where life will be better, where, where economy will boom, where there will be industry, where there will be job, opportunity for everybody. That is a Nigerian that we, everybody is yearning for, which is what an average Nigerian know as the new Nigeria. Fine. And uh, it's a good one. I will not want to take time to explain if you want to know more about the new Nigeria, I've written several books that address what the new Nigeria is actually all about. One of the books that you, I, will, I will encourage you to pick up is uh, my book that is titled uh, The Book of the Prophecy of Nigeria, subtitled The Pathway to Batting a New Nigeria. I explain so much about New Nigeria in that book. The second book again that you do yourself a favor to read is my book titled The Seven Prophetic Steps to bat the new Nigeria. Uh, they are all on Amazon bookstore by myself, Moses or George Enemy God Special. You read this book, it will help you to understand what we are talking about the new Nigeria very well. Now, let me go a quick to what I'm actually inspired to speak about at this moment. I'm talking about the two ushers, that is the two main things that will usher in the new Nigeria. There are two main things that will usher in the new Nigeria. The first of it is, I wrote about the second of it so much in, 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 in many of my books, but I want to you know, tell you, the first of it, the first usher, that will, or, or, that, or the thing that will usher in the new Nigeria is called political revolution. The first thing, that we all share in the new Nigeria is political revolution. And the second thing that we all share the new Nigeria, main thing that we all share in Nigeria is called spiritual revolution. The spiritual revolution is what we call revival. Revival is a spiritual revolution. 
This is one key thing that will usher in the new Nigeria. But the other key thing that will also usher the new Nigeria is political revolution. And this is where a lot of folks, a lot of people, a lot of advocates of new Nigeria, a lot of people believe in new Nigeria are missing it. A lot of people are so, so ignorant. And the Bible says, I put Paris for lack of knowledge. So ignorant, they don't know that there are two main ushers of the new Nigeria. The first usher is the political revolution. Why the second usher is a spiritual revolution. As a matter of fact, the two of them, the pursuit of the two of them should go paripasu, should go hand in hand. You can't be pursuing spiritual revolution without pursuing, you know, political revolution. You are missing a great deal. Because a good political atmosphere will set the stage for a spiritual revolution. Why also a spiritual revolution also can set a stage for a political revolution. So that is why I say they go hand in hand. It can be in any way. The political revolution can come first, then through that political revolution, then a spiritual revolution can come in. Or a spiritual revolution can come in first, and then a spiritual revolution, a, 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 a political revolution comes in. So the two of them has to go hand in hand. So one can gender the other. A, 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 a genuine spiritual revival should be able to lead to political revolution. And then a political revolution can also lead to a spiritual revolution. This what I'm talking to you is biblical. Very biblical. What led to the spiritual revolution of Israel after they have gone to captivity in Babylon was a political revolution. A political revolution gave birth to a spiritual revolution. Check the history of the kings of Israel. Oftentimes, it's a political revolution that brings in a spiritual revolution. Go and check the, the history of the kings of Israel. You see that a lot of them that brought revival to their, to their, to their point, most of the historic biblical revival in Israel was ushered in by a king, by a political you know, by a political leader. So, and how did it happen? When you study the history of the... Go and check those, Asa and the rest of them who brought revival. You know, Uzziah, I mean, uh, uh, Uzziah who brought revival. Go and check them. All the king of Israel that brought revival. It was a political revolution that led to a spiritual revolution. That is the way it, it is in the Bible. And that is why it has always been. But in some cases, we, a, a, a spiritual revolution comes first. And then it brings in a political revolution. That is, there is a spiritual revival. Then the, 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 the land is transformed. And then it now leads to a genuine, a godly, you know, political leader that, that emerge. And then the nation, you know, witness total transformation. So it can be in any way. So in our pursuit of the new Nigeria, we must carry the two along. In the case of Nigeria, why the forthcoming election is very, very important? Because some of us, the watchmen over the nation, we know that the Lord is about to do what he did in Israel in Nigeria. The people of Judah have, go, have been in captivity. They have been oppressed. They've been, they, 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 they've been trampled on their feet. They've had it rough. So for God to bring you know, them to, 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 to a new place, bring them into their rest, the Lord had to organize a spiritual, I mean a political revolution first, which was, you know, which was carried out or carried that revolution was anchored, and then it was, it, was, it was carried out by a man called Cyrus. That political revolution led to what is called a spiritual revolution. That was what broke, you know, you know, you know, you know the Babylonian Empire, crumbled Babylonian Empire. 
and delivered Israel, I mean Judah, from captivity and brought them back to their land. As when you read the book of Zechariah, you understand what I'm telling you very well. So we must, I give you to understand that we must be all out. The next election of Nigeria is a political revolution that has the capacity, that have the, 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 the audacity, that have the potency, that have everything it takes to lead to a spiritual revolution that will usher in the new Nigeria. This is the mindset that every, you know, every sensible person in Nigeria should have. That it is a political revolution that is meant to usher in the new Nigeria. What is happening is designed. is actually designed to usher in the new Nigeria. But not alone. So, as we are preparing for the 2023 election, we should have the understanding that it is a political revolution that is one of the main ushers of the new Nigeria. Because the new Nigeria is a restored Nigeria. It was the political revolution that happened that, happened, that was able to deliver the people of Judah from the captivity of Babylon and brought about their restoration because the new Nigeria is a restored Nigeria. So as it is with Israel, with Judah, so it is with Nigeria. I've said that several in most of my broadcasts and most of my books because God said that is how he's dealing with Nigeria as he dealt with Judah. So it is a political revolution that is meant to trigger a spiritual revolution that we take us, that we usher in the new Nigeria. So as we are pursuing revival, we should also be pursuing political revolution. Because the two go together. So if we are talking about revival, and we are not talking about politics, then we have missed it greatly. And that is the error that I see. As one of the watchmen over the nation, I have this understanding, and I'm giving you to understand this, that the, the election... Politics must be pursued tenaciously by the church of the Lord as one of the main ushers of the new Nigeria that some of our fathers like Pielton prophesied that there's going to be a new face. One of the ushers of the new face that we have been crying and laboring for is politics, is political revolution. And you understand that the election of 2023 is a political revolution. If the church miss the 2023 election, we should be ready to suffer long. We, 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 it will take us longer time to be able to bring about a spiritual revolution that will bring us to another political revolution. But it is easier for us now to pursue this political revolution so that the condition for us to labor more intensely, to bring a spiritual revolution, that we finally bring the new Nigeria, will be more conducive for us. So this is the truth. So if you don't understand this, we are going away. So don't think that some people, uh, Pastor God Special, is bringing politics to to the to uh, to to the to, to the to the house of God. You are you are a blind and ignorant person. You are blind. You are ignorant. You need to understand the truth. Give it to understand today. Don't be ignorant any longer. Understand the truth. This is a political revolution that is meant to usher in the new Nigeria in line with also a spiritual revolution. So God has decided to go this way, bringing political revolution that will come and make the condition conducive for us to be able to labor more intensely and bring about a spiritual revolution. This is the way God has designed it. So now is the time for preparation. Now is the time to labor for both the political revolution and also spiritual revolution that we usher in. These two must go hand in hand. It is a political revolution and a spiritual revolution that will, that we usher in the new Nigeria, which is the restored Nigeria. That is the way of the Lord. 
That is how God has determined. Go and read your Bible. I give you to please try and get our my books on this issue. The seven prophetic steps to bat the new Nigeria. It's on Amazon bookstore. When you give us a call, also we can we can we have copies to ship to you. You you pay, you order with you pay for it, and then uh, you pay cost of uh, a shipment or way bill, and then we we'll send it to you anywhere you are in Nigeria and all over the world. You must understand this. Let's not be ignorant any longer. The Lord is ready to change our nation. The new Nigeria is long overdue. Our labor must be balanced. We must labor for spiritual revolution and also be laboring hand in hand for what? For a political revolution. If not so, what we are looking for, it will be delayed longer. But I pray that the spell that has made us to be blindfolded and not to understand the truth, as you are hearing this message, the spell is broken. You are going to change your mindset. You are going to come to time and then begin to take these things and understand that these two ushers must be heard, must go hand in hand. We must prepare. We must be involved in, the, in this ongoing political revolution. Because it's part of what we usher in the new Nigeria. We must be involved in the world, in the spiritual revolution. I have said it this morning in our teaching. If you have those who have listened to the teaching of Christian ethics, that the teaching on Christian ethics is actually designed to break up the fallow ground, which is what Hosea chapter 10, verse 12 says. We are the intention is to break up the fallow ground, to suit to ourselves. In mercy, so that we can reap in righteousness. For it is time to seek the Lord till He comes and reign righteousness. So it's time to break our fallow ground. The fallow ground must be broken. If not that, the spiritual revolution will not come. To bring spiritual revolution, the fallow ground must be broken. That is the way out. That is how it is in the scriptures. We must humble ourselves. We must what? We must become humble. We must become penitent. We can't continue the way we are going. We can't continue seeing that revival will come. No way. The fallow ground must be broken. The nation cannot continue like this and No. The fallow ground must be broken. Spiritually, politically, let's break the fallow ground. And I see that it should not be long from now. We will witness the new river. I mean the new, the, 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 we, we, we will see. Our, our eyes shall behold the new Nigeria. Like a brother done for a master. So shall it be. The Lord bless you. Please, if you are blessed with this message, please try and share it so that other people can understand, so that we can all join hand together and labor vehemently, tenaciously for the spiritual revolution and for the political revolution that will usher in this new Nigeria that we'll be talking about, we'll be hearing about. The Lord bless you as you also subscribe or follow us on this uh, channel so that you can be getting our teachings as we upload on, on, on Facebook. And on YouTube, God bless you. Please leave your comment and also try and share. The Lord preserve you. You will not, you will live to see this Nigeria. Nigeria, this old Nigeria will not continue. But it shall come to an end. God bless you. I remain your brother, Moses or George Enemy. God special. If you want to get our books that I've mentioned, if you, want, you can go to Amazon Books or if you want, uh, I mean, uh, the hard copy of it, they're available. You can get us on uh, 080 33 let me take it again. 080 God bless you. Shalom Maranatha. Maranatha. Hosanna.